So in the aftermath of yesterday's earthquake, we're really following two main stories today. And let's see if we can't go outside live to one of our live pictures right now and show you the scene. Yeah, we're going to get to Stephanie Frederick, Frederick, right Frederick right in just a moment. By. Stephanie, you are over there at Action Center, and we're looking at what's left of the Bullock story here. Uh, it, it's really in bad shape. Standing here with me is a lady who would have been inside this store uh, had this earthquake happened sometime during the day instead of at 4.30 in the morning. Um, Elisa Coton, you managed which department here? The housework department. And tell me what's left of, what, uh, of your department right now. Well, right now we can see the Tools of the Trade cookware fixture, which is um, a great company that's made for our store, and the fixture is actually still standing. And that's all I can see of actually housewares. And then in the back, we can see a domestics display of the towels that are still lining the wall near our elevator. And we can see a china display of just a few plates standing up on the maybe first and third rows of that uh, would have been glass display. And what, do, you, do you feel lucky because you possibly could have been inside there had, had the um, quake happened earlier, later? I know the, I'm sure the whole company, the store, and, and myself are very grateful that the earthquake did happen at a time when there was nobody here in the mall. And uh, it's, actual, it's absolutely devastating to look at it right now. Um, there's a great com camaraderie between all the Bullock's Associates and management, and I'm sure that everyone is going to pull together through this, and all the stores are going to you know, work together and, and try and find placement. And it, Bullock's is a great company, and I'm sure that everyone will, will stick together through this all. Tell me this. You, you kind of don't have a job now with the right. mall being down. What, what, right. what are your plans now? What are you going to do? What's management told you? Um, well, I haven't personally heard anything. I think um, I'll be calling our corporate offices, uh, making sure, finding out damage to other stores and uh, finding out where maybe we can help out to go and, and work with the other stores. Maybe I can go you know, and, and help other departments that maybe have less damage where there's something to work with. Looking at this, it's unbelievable to see one whole fixture that's still intact, just standing in the middle of all of this wreckage. Thank you, Lisa Coton, the uh, housewares department manager here at Bullocks. Thank we also you. want to talk to a lot of people who used to shop at this mall. Uh, Fred Reinstein, how do you feel looking at all of this? Well, I've often wondered uh, as many times as I've been here, and especially when it, when it was first uh, completed and opened, and whether or not this store was earthquake proof. And uh, from what I can de determine and observe, I'm not absolutely sure. I'm not an engineer, but I've, uh, with the amount of uh, uh, devastation and, and, and uh, wreckage of the storefront. Uh, this is uh, something that comes to my mind. Uh, fortunate uh, that uh, it wasn't during business hours, it was on a holiday, and, but devastating as far as uh, st a structural damage. This is your mall, your neighborhood mall. Um, it is, yeah. what, what will you do now? What will I do? Uh, well, I just uh, make the best of uh, finding other places that are possibly still open uh, today for the necessities. And uh, I happen to work for uh, Home Depot in Canoga Park, and we experienced uh, just merchandise damage primarily. And I'm about due to uh, return there for some, uh, some massive general cleanup in the aisles. I happen to work in the paint department, so you can imagine what that's going to be like. Okay, thank you, Fred Reinstein, one of the many shoppers, uh, people who used to shop here at the Northridge uh, Fashion Center. I can tell you that this mall has been closed. Uh, no one's allowed inside. Even some of the business owners have been told to stay away because the mall has been declared unsafe at this point. Uh, and that's a scene here at the Northridge Fa uh, Fashion Center. Stephanie Frederick for Channel 4 News. Stephanie, you may not have this information at hand, but maybe you can find out for us. Yesterday, some of the more dramatic pictures took place during that rescue. Can you find out for us how Salvador Pena is doing? He's a man that was trapped in the parking structure, and we saw him uh, rescued live on TV. So I don't know if anybody around there would have that information, but if you can check it out, we'd appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much. Stephanie Frederick reporting live from the Northridge Fashion Center. And now